Hello everyone, welcome back to another great episode of Rihanna's Cuisines. Today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on um, how to make green chutney. Um, I promised a lot of you for a very long time, so I'm finally getting this done. Um, it's very simple, very quick. Um, so let's go ahead, review the ingredients, and then I'll show you how I usually freeze it. So basically I have two... Um, you know how they come in two packs. Well, I have two packs of um, fresh coriander here, and then I have one jalapeno green. Now, if you like your chutney very, very spicy, go ahead and add a couple more of the jalapenos. I don't because we don't eat spicy food at home. I have uh, some dietary restrictions. So um, I only add one, but like I said, everybody has a different taste and a different preference. Go ahead and add more if you like. We're gonna be adding a little bit of salt. We're gonna be adding some vinegar, some lemon juice, and some water to help process it. So what I'm gonna do here is, let's go ahead and add everything in our processor. You can go ahead and also use a um, blender if you like, um, whatever works for you. Um, it's fine if you prefer using a blender, go ahead, that's perfectly fine. And basically, there's no real measurements for this. This just depends on your taste. If you like it a little bit more sour, or if you like it a little bit more vinegar in there, uh, or you like it salty. So it really depends on what you like for your taste, and you'll have to adjust it accordingly. For us, um, I will just do a taste test in the end and see, you know, if it's um, sour enough or if it's got enough lemon in there. So I'm just going to add a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of lemon juice, and yes, you can go ahead and use fresh lime if you like. This is the same recipe that you would use if you wanted to make fudino ni chutney, which is chutney that has um, mint in it. So same thing, you would just add a little bit more mint in here or just add mint in here with the fresh um, cilantro here. So basically, we're just gonna put this on here, like so. Give it a good go. Now the other thing I forgot to tell you was also that I like using the stems in this. The stems has a really nice, um, a really, really nice um, aroma to it. So I like using the stems in there too. I'm just going to put that again in there. Give it a quick taste test here. <clears throat> I think it's perfect. So I have it blended really well. And I also wanted to point out something else. I'm gonna show you how this looks. So I'm gonna pour it in this container here. Now, see how it's got like bits of the par uh, cilantro still in there? If you want it completely one, like it's got you know parts of it in there, if you want it completely blended, use a food uh, like a blender I like having like the bits of their bits of it in there so I'm gonna leave it just the way it is and then what I usually do is I usually get containers like this um, I have two size containers you know you can use glade you can use um, a ziplock you can use any kinds of containers you can even put this in an ice cube tray and freeze it the only reason I don't do it that way is because I don't like it by the time the, um, the ice cubes uh, or the chutney cubes get frozen, there's a um, freezer smell in it and I'm very, very prone. I just don't like that smell. So um, you could use either containers. What I usually do is I then pour it into those containers and I freeze it. So we're, I'm just gonna I'll label it, I'll date it, and I use this for all my recipes almost all my recipes if you've seen my videos you'll see so this is 
just a very quick tutorial on how to make green chutney at home i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope this was useful leave me a comment or two this concludes our episode of how to make green chutney at home um thank you for joining me on this episode of for hannah's cuisines hope you can join me here on another tutorial see you then friends